Hello, in this video I want to show you how I fixed uh, a small problem that I had, or maybe it was a big problem. So I needed to use 18 inputs for my band, analog inputs, and I still needed one channel to um, use for playback music during uh, our breaks in the sets, between the sets. So um, I figured out a way how to do that pretty smooth uh, without uh, uh, flipping cables uh, to to my playback device, um, and I want to show you how I did this. So we have um, 16 analog inputs plus aux for for keys, for example, for stereo input. So that eats up all my input channels for the band. So. I use uh, an insert in fax the stereo combinator all the time in the main bus. So when I insert this, um, it's active and uh, the FX4 fader has no effect because um, it just um, doesn't work because the combinator is inserted. So I found out I can use on the input USB for FX4 while using an insert FX that is in this channel uh, effect slot. So and I can choose whatever playback I want. So I need to uh, connect the PC via, via USB, but I do that anyway for recordings. So I now can play back. The music here, I don't have a gate, but I have still an EQ for my uh, break entertainment music. No com presser, but sense, but I don't need that because uh, we don't want to use it in our in ears. I can route this to main left right. So what I have now is 18 analog inputs, one USB. Four effects active, and this is uh, possible because I use an insert effect. So if you use more than one inf insert effect, you can also free up another FX slot for additional two USB tracks, for example, for click track or whatever you have. Okay, that's basically my quick tip. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have a better idea how to fix that problem. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in the next video.